I'm reading from the book The Way of the Ninja Secret Techniques by Masaki Hatsumi. He writes on page 106 Anywhere can be a dojo if the spirit is right. When a child is born, nobody consciously teaches it to walk or to feed itself. Rather, these things occur instinctively. Human beings are born with almost limitless capabilities and functions, and we really should make great use of them. For example, if a child could develop the power to think for itself, even without attending school and studied from computers or from the television, it would become far more intelligent than the students who nowadays gain entrance to the top universities. Why should everyone attend school in the identical fashion? I have no doubt that sometime in the future, schools will become superfluous. Those that have been built so far are no more than money exchanges. Studying for oneself and making one's own discoveries is much more important than group learning. And this applies equally well of the martial arts. Of course, nothing beats attending a dojo and rigorously training under a master. But even if you do not attend a dojo and simply continue training by yourself, provided you do this with a sincere spirit, that place will become a dojo. As I often say, life is all about solitary training. This is because I want serious practitioners to discover the tricks of the trade for themselves. The world is not made up of solely good people, not of bad people alone either. It is quite natural and there are good and bad budoka too. Each individual is different. I was fortunate that such a wonderful person as Takamatsu Sensei still existed so that I could learn from him how people ought to live. Having a true heart is so important for human beings. Above all, it is important to be able to maintain this right until the end, until the day you die. To become strong, powerful, and famous is really nothing special. People who seek seriously for a martial art with integrity and having found it never leave are the protectors of true ninjutsu and ninpo taijutsu. People who can really devote themselves to the genuine martial arts are trustworthy members of society too. They possess a spirit of self-criticism, gratitude, and sincerity. In this respect, let me also say that a true martial master in the martial ways has a heart of beneficence and will share his art with anyone he encounters regardless of whether they are a student of his or not. This does not just apply to those who are somehow connected to him, but to anyone who comes within his circle. This just goes to prove you do not need a dojo. If you have a backyard, if you have a training space in your home, all you need is the will to train, the tools to train, and of course the most important part is the consistency and the patience to do it over and over again until the skills develop. And then if you love it, you love it so much like I did that you are drawn to it, it is a calling, you will move, you will seek out, and you will go to a dojo, whether it's 10 miles away or 10,000 miles. And then your first connection, your deeper connection to your teacher will begin. Let the words of Soke Hatsumi continue to inspire us through his writings. He is an amazing man. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.